What's up guys, welcome to a new video. So as I mentioned then in my previous one, today is going to be a testing strategy video, perfect for the person then who has just completed their Shopify store, they've found some products and they're ready to get stuck in and start running some ads. Or perhaps then it's the person who's already completed their store, they've been dabbling with Facebook ads, but not quite seeing the results that they wanted to achieve, then this is gonna be the perfect strategy for you. Now, one thing I will say before we jump into the video is that it doesn't matter how good your strategy is, how good your products are, how good your ad creatives are, if you haven't got a good professional store that comes across as trustworthy, then you're not gonna see the results that you hope for. So as there's quite a lot to get through then, I'm gonna split this video up into two parts. Part one is gonna be taking you through the actual written strategy and how it works and why it works. Um, this has been exported into a PDF as well that you can get your hands on 100% free, won't cost you any money. Um, just check out the first link in the video description below. The second part is gonna be the actual creating of the strategy within my ad manager account in real terms, so you can see exactly how to set it up. If you're not interested in part one, at some point in a second, um, I'll put up a timestamp that will take you straight through to the practical part. With that being said then, let's jump into the strategy itself. And one thing I do wanna say as well is that I do read every single comment. So if there is a question on anything whatsoever, post it down below, I will read it and I will answer you. Um, if you do enjoy the video and you want more videos on Facebook ads, for example, please do make sure you let me know and hit that like button. And finally then, if you're new around here, I do upload four, video week, four videos per week. So please do make sure you subscribe as well. So one of the biggest questions then that I get asked from people is are these good results they'll send me a picture or a screenshot of their ad manager account and they want me to tell them whether they're good results or not because they've never ran Facebook ads before they don't know what a good CPM is what a good cost per link click is etc so they're confused and they might just test one product and if they don't see the sales if it's not profitable they might just completely write off Facebook ads altogether or even drop shipping and say it doesn't work so this is how I've designed this strategy around that problem and it completely eliminates it so essentially the premise that it's based on is that you test three plus products against each other and then you can see the results against each other, compare them, and then you'll know exactly which product is the best by the data that comes through, and then you'll know exactly which one to put more money into and actually scale. So let's go through it then bit by bit. First of all, you're gonna start with a conversion campaign. Um, I'll get into that a little bit later on in the video. The runtime for this testing campaign then is gonna be at least three days. Now that is as a minimum. The reason being then is when it comes to conversion campaigns, then Facebook themselves talk and mention the words optimization and efficiency. Letting the conversion campaign run for longer gives it a better chance of doing that. Within this campaign then we're going to have three different ad sets and each ad set then is going to be unique to a specific product as you can see I've illustrated here. So ad set one is going to be this Apple um, charging dock. Ad set two is going to be this hand warmer cross phone charger and ad set three is going to be this shuttle launch um, nightlight. Moving into the actual setup of the ad sets themselves now, the conversion event is going to be few content. The reason being then is because in the beginning, if you haven't had any purchases, chances are you haven't, then view content are going to happen a lot more. Therefore, your ads are going to optimize a lot more. You're going to get cheaper CPM, a further reach, and therefore you're going to have more data. And data is king when it comes to testing because the more data you can test against each other, the more accurate of a result you're going to have. Age and gender wise then, I want you to go broad in the beginning since we're testing in unless you know and can guarantee 100% who your ideal age range is and who your ideal gender is then I want you to go broad because at the end of the day it might shock you as to who is actually going to buy your product in terms of the detail tags and then times one narrow minimum now what I mean by that is that you have one interest that you target then you hit that narrow audience button and you enter another interest in that box there and do that at least once again I'll be showing you in practical terms how to set this up later on in the video in terms of your audience size I want you to stick around the kind of 1 million mark plus or minus 250,000 people. So essentially anywhere from 750,000 people all the way up to 1.25 million people. Now you wanna keep this the same across the board. The reason being is because the budget is gonna be the same for each of these ad sets. So it wouldn't be fair to have one ad set on say 10 million people and one set one ad set on 1 million people because when you divide the budget into the audience size, then it's gonna be a different percentage. It's gonna be a different ratio and therefore it won't be a fair test. In terms of the placements then, we're gonna to stick to the Instagram and Facebook news feed only. The reason being for this then is because it's the biggest space on somebody's mobile phone. It's the biggest space on somebody's newsfeed when they're on desktop. Therefore, we've got the best chance and the fairest kind of accuracy in terms of making sure somebody has actually seen our ad, acknowledged it, and then decided 
decided on how to act on it, whether it's to click on it or simply just scroll past. Daily budget per ad set. So this isn't a CBO campaign. The reason being is we wanna make sure that Facebook spends the same amount of money per ad set, again, to make sure it's a fair test. So the daily budget is gonna be five pounds per ad set. Now this is as a minimum, it should say minimum there, um, purely because the more you spend, the more data you get. And like I said earlier, the more data you have to compare against each other, then the better the test. In terms of the conversion window, we're gonna go for one day click or view. Now, usually I would stick to seven day click, but that's pretty much only recommended if you're going for purchases because purchases don't happen as frequently. Whereas since we're tagged in a conversion event of free content, then going for a one day click or view is absolutely fine. Now you might have realized then that every single ad set is exactly the same apart from the detail tagged in and obviously the actual products that we're testing. And the reason being for this then as it says here is we wanna create the fairest test possible because essentially what we're doing is we're testing different products against each other to see which one comes out on top. And then we're gonna choose that one to shovel the majority of our budget into and try and scale and start make some, making some serious sales and actually turn a profit. The next steps obviously then is after you've ran it for a three days minimum. Now the reason it says minimum is because it's completely up to you. If you've set aside say a hundred pound or a hundred dollars to test different products then perhaps you want to run it for four or five days and perhaps test four or five or six different products. It's completely up to you. These are just minimums. So after three days minimum switch off all ad sets unless they're profitable. If one's, at, if one's profitable you might as well let it run milk it for as long as you can and just try and make back as much money as possible. Compare the results of each ad set and then choose the best performer to actually go on and scale. And then as it says there, if you want a part two on scaling, so the next step of this, so once you've ran your testing stage, how does the scaling stage work? Make sure you let me know in the comment section down below and just comment part two or something like that. So with that being said then, essentially in terms of the written strategy, that is exactly how it works. Now, how do we actually go about setting this up within our ad manager account? So the first thing we wanna do then start from the beginning and to create a new campaign. We're gonna start over, just make sure we start fresh. We're going for a conversion campaign. And we're just gonna name this kind of like, we're testing three different products, so it could be a three product test. We're not going for CBO, so we're gonna leave this checked off, and then we're just gonna go ahead and click continue. Now this is loaded up then, I'm gonna take you through each step, um, start from the top. In terms of the ad set name, I always leave that blank until the end, and then I'll go back and rename it according to the criteria that I've used. I'm just gonna go ahead and select the correct pixel, and as accordingly to the strategy then, we're gonna choose a few content. Moving down then, ignore these for now. These are more advanced kind of um, options you can use. No custom audiences, so I'm gonna to stick to the UK. Typically then what I adopt being from the UK is I will test a product in the UK, I will try to scale it in the UK, and if I can successfully, I will then reinvest those profits and start scaling it out into other countries. 18 to 65, all genders, and then detail tagged in. So let's stick with the first product, which is the um, Apple chat charging dock. So typically what I'll do then is I'll go pretty broad in the beginning um, and I'll call this kind of like my base interest. So if we just go for Apple in general, um, we want to make sure we untick the expand your detail tags in that way we get a true representation of actually how big our audience is. And then this is the next stage, which I spoke about earlier, which is the narrow audience button. And now we're going to put in, let's go for Apple watch, seeing as most people who buy this will own an Apple watch. Let's see if we can target that as an interest, which we can, which takes us to 280,000 people. So that's not within 750 and 1.2. So we need to add some more interests to this to bring the audience size up. So let's go for suggestions and actually see what Facebook recommends to us. So now if we highlight engaged shoppers, we can see that the description is people who have clicked on the call to action button shop now in the past week, which would be perfect because it shows they have an interest in Apple and they have an interest in actually buying Apple products. So if we add this to our audience and see what it does, it takes us to 910,000 people, which is obviously spot on, almost smack bang in the middle of that 750K to 1.25 range. So I'm gonna leave it as that. Moving down then into the next steps of the strategy, like I mentioned, we need to edit the placements. We don't want audience network. Audience network I've found in the past works really well for retargeting ads, but because this is the initial testing stage, we wanna make sure that people actually have eyes on our ad. So we're gonna get rid of Messenger, and then we're just gonna untick these until we have just the news feed only. So now that I've done that then, I just went ahead and skipped it so you didn't have to watch me untick every single box. You can see that nothing is selected then apart from the Facebook and Instagram news feeds. So that is spot on then perfect according to the strategy. Moving down then, the final thing we have to do then is change the budget and schedule. And to stay consistent with the strategy, we wanna set this to a minimum of five pounds per day. So that being said then, that is the ad set created. The next steps are to click continue, go into the actual ad creation, add your creative, um, and then publish the ad. The next steps from there on are pretty much just 
just to duplicate it twice and change the detail targeting and obviously change the ad creative. With that being said then, that pretty much just wraps up absolutely everything. So I'm gonna wrap the video up there by saying thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate all the support. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, any questions, comment them down below. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure you hit that like button. And for four videos every single week then throughout 2020, uh, make sure you subscribe. I've got some free eBooks too. All you have to do is give me your email address. Um, there's five different ones, so make sure you check those out. There is a link for each individual one in the video description below. Head over to Instagram, follow me on there for more content off of YouTube. And finally then, if you want a step-by-step e-commerce -step e program that comes with my full support and has proven results from real students, uh, make sure you check out my Ecom Academy. Again, there is a link for that in the description below. With that finally being said then, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.